With every new release and updates coming to the Blender 2.8 series, we've constantly been having amazing features and updates shipping over to Blender. And today we'll be looking at one of the cool features that will be coming over to Blender 2.83. Actually, is one of the features a lot of people have wanted and it's really good to see that right now it exists in Blender. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So today we're going to be looking at the brand new hair dynamic feature that has now made its way to Blender 2.83. Now the cool thing with this stuff is this is actually one of those uh, things that a lot of people have always wanted and for me I'm very very happy to see that this is now here. The fact that the blender hair and the cloth share the same collision system makes a lot of sense for me. And of course if you're brand new to blender hair don't worry because we're going to take a very quick dive into that and also we'll all be talking about the cool feature which has to do with the hair dynamics that is presently available in blender. So with blender open we're definitely going to go through these things really really quick and I have this default cube here. Next thing which we want to do is just simply keep this thing the way it is and go ahead and create a brand new plane. Now I'm going to be creating hair out of this brand new plane and that's why I'm leaving it there. So I'm just going to raise this all the way up, rotate this a little bit. I'll go over to the particles section and within this particle section click on the plus sign to create particles. Now I don't want to create particles, I want to create hair. I'm also going to click here to be able to see the hair guides that I'm going to work with. Within here is where you can change the amounts or the numbers of you know the hair you want to have in your scene and here is also where you get to play with the length this is also where you get to play with the segment and segment actually deals with how many you know subdivisions that your hair definitely has so in case you're new to hair in blender these are a couple of things that you need to keep in mind when creating hair also you can go ahead to you know create children make them simple if you want or you know you can make them interpolated one thing to note is once you start creating children like this they become heavy and in some cases they can actually you know slow down your scene so my huge advice is simply keep this thing to none and do all of the changes that you want before you go ahead to commit these things to simple and also if you want to make changes within the simple kits here you can also make those changes directly here now this is the actual hair you'll be working with whereas this is the guide to the hair now the guide to the hair actually plays a huge role when the children are not active all right so if you turn on the children you'll be able to create things like clumps which you can actually use curve to drive and at the same time you can create some sort of roughness which you can also use setting curves to drive them which has to also do with a couple of things and then you can play with the kinky style which has to do with both the wave, radial, coils, braid, you know, spiral and so on and so forth. What you want to do now is by simply having all of these done, you would like to actually just turn this out and just simply keep it as it is so that we can have a quick playback and I'm also going to increase the segment to become something more like 10. Next thing which I want to do is turn on the hair dynamics. Now once you turn on the hair dynamics you'll be able to see that we have here which has to do with preset but because we don't have any presets saved earlier we cannot have access to these probably there are plugins or add-ons that you can attach that can give you some very cool hairstyle presets then you can go ahead and download those ones the quality step definitely has to do with how much quality you want for the simulation that you're trying to create so if you keep it at five you're definitely going to get something cool and you can go ahead and increase this in case you don't have what you're looking for and if you click down the structure you're definitely going to see the mass which has to do with the strength each hair has so depending on how heavy the hair is of course you can make all of those changes and by default hair actually weighs a little less than 0.1 kilo so we're definitely going to make this 0.1 and set it the way it is also you can choose different kind of stiffness random this is totally you know up to you and depending on what you're working on at a given time so let's get down into the collision so if you want to get this collision working what you can do now is pretty simple i'm definitely going to click here so you can do this in two ways so you can choose to come over to the physics tab and click on collision or you can simply go over to the modifier tab and just simply add collision all right so with this done next thing which you need to do is just go over here and press the playback button now if you press the playback button of course you can see that we have a very nice collision happening and i'm just going to go all the way back and simply move this a little bit forward so let's just go ahead and move this a little bit forward and probably we're going to tilt this just slightly down 
and we're going to get this thing played one more time and it's really cool to see that you can actually preview these and get very accurate results directly on your viewport and one of the cool things for me that has to do with blender is the fact that once you're playing back this of course you can make a lot of changes at the same time and still get those feedback in real time so a very good example is this so if i have this object selected and i go over to the physics tab which is this right here and i press the playback button i can choose all right i can choose to increase the amount of thickness and you can see that the hair itself has started reacting to that previously our thickness was not this much but then of course you can start seeing so i can move this down and i can pull this up so depending on the situation which you're working on this makes perfect sense now let's get back into the tutorial for noobs and for beginners so you guys can get this thing up and running so this is the brand new feature coming over to blender 2.83 and now let's talk a little bit more about styling the hair and this is basically for a lot of people that will be asking these questions in the comment section so if you want to style your hair directly in blender it's quite easy after making this hair itself what you need to do is come over here go over to the part which you have as particle edit and once you have that selected you'll be able to have access to the comb now the comb can be increased by pressing f on your keyboard and you can increase the radius of the comb which you can use to actually comb things around so we want to comb this a little bit more and a little bit like this and also a little bit like this of course this makes a lot of sense yes so in case you want to you know style the hair depending on what you want and this of course affects the children okay so this affects the children if you want to also trim the hair you can select this right here and you can you know trim this and get some very decent looking stuff all of these things are things that you can play with especially when you're trying to get up and running with style in the hair you can also use this directly from here to add a couple of hair strands in certain places if you want to add a couple of hair strands and this you can use this to actually play with the length so let's say we want to increase a certain part and you know you want to reduce a certain part of course you can also use these things to work with them at the same time the way you hold down shift to smooth stuff is also the same way you hold down shift to smooth things directly in blender when you're working with the hair so this is a quick crash course on how you can do these things and of course i do know a couple of people will be asking questions like huh now you've talked about creating hair in a different object and having that simulate with a different object how about creating hair in one object and getting that object to actually react to the hair this is pretty pretty simple so what we need to do is select the certain parts or the parts which we want this hair to be and the next thing which we can do is to save that part as vetus now this can be saved as a group or you can actually go ahead and extract this but for our own case we're definitely going to save this as a simple group and when we save this as a simple vetus group when we go over to the particle section when we're generating the hair we're definitely going to assign that group which we've selected earlier as the density now the density is going to be driven by that vertex which in turn is going to generate the hair and this makes a lot of sense because you can now go in there make a couple of tweaks make a couple of changes do whatever you want only to that particular group or to that group vertex that we selected earlier next thing which you would like to do is select the monkey and go over to you know either the physics tab or go over to the modifier and add the collision and this time once you press the playback button you have yourself a very nice susan the monkey that has a hair on its head and has colliders happening and this makes a lot of sense now there is also a couple of things that kind of witness over time which you might also run into as bugs when you're working with this and it has to do with the collision itself one of the issues which i do have is uh certain times the collision does not recognize the object as collision and it goes ahead to pass through it which is also something i'm definitely going to share so that you guys can see and probably you have to delete the queue bring it back delete the queue bring it back of course these are bugs and hopefully the guys at blender foundation will fix this and probably would also get something pretty interesting because i also found out that you know the clothes itself do not respond to the object so i've gone ahead to create a simple cloth and i also added that cloth as a collision object and the hair do not interact with this these are just few issues and bugs here and there which i think the guys at blender foundation will take their time to fix but so far so good this tool is awesome i like the new update and i would love to know what you guys think about this in the comment section have you tried this do you think it's a worthy tool i would like to know what your thoughts are in the comment section and of course if you like this video you learned something from it you know what to do go ahead and hit the like button and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's definitely going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video 
or the next update. And until I see you guys again with the tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.